the probably owned but worth checking on guys, Sterling Shepard, Marvin Jones, Terry McLaurin, Demarcus Robinson. Now, Mike has been floating Demarcus Robinson in our Dynasty League as a little little point rental. Are you feeling confident that Tyreek Hill is going to miss this upcoming week? I honestly have no idea. Because we have... But I know if he does... Robinson. Then I'm playing Demarcus Robinson. Sure, sure. Shepard is 75% on Marvin Jones, 68%. McLaurin, 66% right now. Uh, Shepard had a big game, 7 for 101 on nine targets. One thing noted by our team, he ran 86% of his rounds from the slot. So there mm. was some question as to whether when Golden Tate returns, the Sterling Shepard see some of that target volume diminish. I imagine it will. Yes, it, it, it likely does. However, without Saquon Barkley, if, we'll talk Wayne Gallman as a must-add player, but Wayne Gallman's not as good as Saquon Barkley. Like, they're gonna what? Have... <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. I should have warned everyone that I was about to blow minds. I apologize for that. They're going to have to throw more because they're not going to be able to hand off to Wayne Gallman and expect him to have some – insane 25 yard run and and he's nowhere near I mean very few players are anywhere near Saquon when it comes to the receiving ability at the running back position so those little dump offs they could go to Sterling Shepard Evan Ingram uh yeah I think Sterling Shepard's a great play this week all right in the more available wide receiver category what are some of your favorite names personally I think Philip Dorsett is a must add with what's going on Antonio Brown a lot of three wide receiver sets in New England. Dorsett should be on the field. Like, if you want to view him as Josh Gordon light for sure. your team, I just think he's one of those situations where everybody views Josh Gordon with a certain trade value and throws Dorsett to the sideline where they're both on the field. I don't think Brady has any sort of preference there. And Dorsett's been very, very productive. And we have uh, Julian Edelman is dealing with his chest injury. The latest reports are it's supposed to be minor, so I'm not expecting him to miss time. But you, you certainly have to factor that in. And these Patriots, the, they look like the old Patriots of we want to run up the score through the air. And Philip Dorsett has been heavily involved except except for week two because Antonio Brown came in and they forced him the ball. But, but weeks one and week three where Antonio Brown's not on the team, Philip Dorsett's had a good game. They take on Buffalo this week. It's a tougher matchup. Yeah. Certainly you imagine Tredavious White is on Gordon? Probably. So this could be another sneaky start, I think, yes. for Dorsett, especially with this being a game for the division lead. Right. That's fascinating. That'll be a good In watch. Buffalo. Yeah. So. Oh, it exciting. is in Buffalo? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I think the, the game line right now is New England minus seven. Yeah. What, Jay? Good, good luck with that, Buffalo. Oh. I think New England covers. C- yes. Okay. I do, too. DJ Chark. Do, Three do, straight do, weeks do, with do, a do, touchdown. Do. DJ Chark or Terry McLaurin? Who would you rather have on your roster? I'd rather have McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. Yeah, that's McLaurin, I but I think DJ Chark is an av- He is a pickup. But we'll see how he can perform this week with, of course, Gardner Minshew. Can he keep it going? But we just saw Denver and Chris Harris – uh, Harris was basically able to shut down Devontae Adams. And it. I would think that the primary cover for Harris will be DJ Chark, but we'll see. You also have Nelson Aguilar, 54% owned, two touchdowns last week, 12 targets. But is, We do expect Alshon Jeffrey yes. to potentially play on Thursday, so that's a tough call on Aguilar. Not, not only that, but this is the Screen Bay defense, I believe, is for real. You know, there was a lot of talk last week about Emmanuel Sanders – you want to play him, but the matchup looks a little poor, and it, and it was. The Green right. Bay secondary was great. And so Nelson Aguilar, if Aljon's back against Green Bay, I'm not digging that as much as, you know, the the exact other side of the field. Marquez Valdez-Scantling against right. Philadelphia, I would rather play over Nelson Aguilar, assuming Alshon is back. Another name I want to bring up is Deontay Johnson. Because he played on 79% of snaps for Philadelphia. I'm sorry, for Pittsburgh. And he's a rookie. He's completely unowned. He was 3 for 52 on a touchdown. Mason Rudolph looked bad, but we also did not see the James Washington Mason Rudolph combination. So 
Deontay Johnson's a player that they want to develop, especially in a lost season. And if Juju's not going to command the kind of target share we thought he could before the season, which seems so far to be the case, certainly doesn't have a, any more of a rapport with Mason Rudolph than Deontay Johnson does. So I think in deeper leagues, he would be an interesting stash. Has Cincinnati defense this week, but I like most of the other names we mentioned more than Deontay Johnson. Right yeah, now. The, the tough part is this is a really good matchup. So if you want to grab him and play him, go for that glory shot, sure. But it, more than likely, you're going to grab him, stash him, wait and see what happens. Oh, he has a good game. Then you're going to put him in the next week against Baltimore? You know, So now you're stashing him for multiple weeks for Mason Rudolph. I do think Deontay Johnson is a talented player, could break out. Obviously, the Steelers have a history of drafting wide receivers very well. He was their number one wide receiver on their board uh, going into the draft. So, yeah, worth a stash, but I agree with you, Andy. Other player, I would rather have some of these other guys, if they're available, the MVS, Dorsett. We about, didn't mention McCall Hardman. Say, what about Hardman, Jay? What, where are you it's, temperature-wise? I mean, he's only getting you know two to three catches a week. However, that's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need from a wide receiver. When they're 90 yards, um, I it's it's 100% Tyreek for me. Uh, for me, if Tyreek is gone this week, then you need to start McCall Hardman. And if he's back, I wouldn't start McCall Hardman this week. Hey, what's up? Glad you're here. Glad you came. Glad you watched the video. You should check out the whole thing. The link is below. 